Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspiration message from Solid Rock Drogheda. We read in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11, In him we were also chosen, having been predestined, according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. And in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4, Paul says that, God chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. If you look at verse 11, it reiterates you know, this wonderful truth by affirming that believers have been predestined to salvation according to God's purpose and will. This scripture is a good reminder for us Christians. God took the initiative, you know, in salvation by choosing us and granting us saving faith. Amen. The world today goes to great lengths, you know, to deny the teaching that God has chosen, predestined believers for salvation. And even among Christians, there are those who think that believers have chosen God. Now, in one sense, this is not wrong because salvation involves an act of the will of turning from sin to embrace Christ. But the problem of predestination goes deeper than that. It's a question of initiative. Did God choose you based on your faith in him or by choosing you Did he allow you to respond in faith? So, to help us, um, we can look at some scriptures. For example, in the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 11, says that no one, no one seeks God for himself. You see? Unregenerated people do not have the ability to understand spiritual truth. To them, this is all madness. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 says, The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. So, they are spiritually dead. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, and they are blind. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. The God of this age has blinded the mind of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. And ignorance. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 18. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Now, how can people in this condition initiate saving faith? They cannot. This is why Jesus said, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. All that Father gives me will come to me, and he who come to me I will certainly not cast out. John chapter 6, verse 37 and verse 44. Paul added, God has saved us and called us with a holy calling not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus from all eternity. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. God took the initiative. He chose us and gave us saving faith. Let us rejoice in this truth. Amen. Let us rest in his power to conform all things to his will. Let us draw strength and assurance from his promise to never let us go. Let us live 
each day as God's elect by avoiding sin and pursuing holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. So I pray that I pray that you were blessed by these teachings. And please join us next time for another Take 5. God bless.